Now GoDaddy is probably best known as a domain reseller or best web hosting provider. But what if I told you that GoDaddy Website Builder is actually a pretty impressive tool for small businesses? Yeah, I was ready for it to be just a, you know, generic builder, but it surprised me in the end. Okay, enough build up. Let's look at how to make a website with GoDaddy Web Builder and I'll tell you all the good and bad I found along the way. Before we start this how to build a website explainer, I'll just remind you that I always leave the best deals in the description down below for every provider I talk about and GoDaddy is no exception. GoDaddy has um, a reputation for being an expensive premium hosting provider. So it was a small surprise for me to see that it allows you to try this builder for free. Sure, it's not a fully fledged free plan. It's just a month's trial where you can test the platform without limit. But you can publish your site on a free subdomain and share it online. It means you can follow this tutorial, build a website and send it to all your friends or clients without any ads or other of that crap. A big plus for GoDaddy here. Now, I want to stress this out immediately. GoDaddy Website Builder is orientated toward business owners and it's probably the best website builder for complete and total beginners. It's not an extensive system like Wix, there are no drag and drop controls and if you are experienced with web design, the choices here feel rather limiting. However, this is probably the best platform for small business owners since it makes creating and running your website not only easy but kind of fun too. There were a couple of times during all my messing around with the GoDaddy website builder that I lost track of time just optimizing stuff. But let's start creating your website, well, from the start. So just go and sign up. After answering two questions, that's it. Whoa there. Wait, we didn't choose any theme or template and we're already in the editor? Well, yeah. The GoDaddy website builder has probably the quickest setup to get you right into building your design. Is this good? Well, it's quick. And I would personally like a bit more settings before jumping into the design itself, but it gets straight to the point. So how to change this design? Select themes and then try new look. And here are your choices. Well, there's not a lot of them if I'm being honest. The themes that are here are pretty modern looking, but they all look very similar to one another in layout. These work fine, but I guess I'm just used to builders like Zyro, which has colorful and very different templates to choose from. We add a different theme and move on to customization. While you can change every section's design individually, I would recommend doing so only from the design tab to keep the consistency. There are quite a few different options you could choose to make this web design your own. I suggest experimenting since GoDaddy Website Builder has an easily accessible site history that can restore your previous versions. One very important aspect of GoDaddy, there are no individual elements. Everything is done by adding, rearranging, or customizing sections. These sections are pre-built with all the needed elements and they also have a few different layouts to spice things up. On one hand, this limits a lot of your creativity and makes your website fit into a certain mold. On the other hand, the GoDaddy Website Builder does have a quite extensive array of these sections for nearly every occasion and working with pre-built items may remove the indecisiveness for some users. The first thing you'll see in your website tab is your site navigation. To add pages, click this big plus sign and just type the name of the page. Then let's delete a few of the pages we don't need by clicking here. And finally, if you click here, you can just drag and rearrange the navigation order. This menu will work for every part of your site. Just click on a section and edit it on the right. I kind of love the fact that there aren't like five different menus that just confuse the user. Next up in how to create a website here, go to the settings tab. You'll find basically all the simple settings you want to change. These include changing your site's description, adding social media links, adding a favicon, 
and connecting to tools like Google AdSense or Analytics. This is really simple, and GoDaddy has helpful text with every setting, so I won't go into many details. If you want more detailed tutorials, like this video and subscribe to the Cyber News channel to get the latest information on all hosting related things. Let's look at these four icons down below. These are add-ons that you can add to your website. Just be aware that clicking either store or appointment will take you out of the editor and to GoDaddy's dashboard. Don't panic, your site design is automatically saved. Store and appointment adds a separate section on your website that can then be further managed through the main dashboard. If you want one of those fancy pop-ups with newsletters or sale announcements, it's actually really easy to do so with GoDaddy. Just click here, fill in all your info, add image, and that's it! Your site will now greet its visitors with a pop-up. If you're building a store, having a communication channel is extremely important. You can add one to your site with a message add-on. Just customize what info you need from your user and you'll receive any messages to your email or you can view them by going to connections in your main dashboard. While during this GoDaddy Website Builder tutorial for Beginners 2022, I was a bit harsh on the limitations that GoDaddy Web Builder has. Though I can't stress enough how good its business tools are. Like e-commerce, once you go to your store manager, everything is very neatly packaged. GoDaddy Online Store Management is very simplistic. You can add your products here, both digital and physical. You can also set up payment gateways like PayPal, Stripe, and Square. It has all the settings you need to set up a store. It even comes with some tips on what you can improve, but the stars of this tool are abandoned cart recovery and user reviews. These tools are extremely easy to set up, and they are what I could consider truly premium features. I want to cover one more important aspect getting found on Google search engines or in other words SEO. Following the theme of this tutorial, you can guess that the overall SEO settings aren't that uh, extensive. In terms of the information, you can only add very basic pieces like titles and keywords, but GoDaddy does have an extremely helpful SEO wizard that guides you through every aspect of getting found on Google. It's not a magical solution per se, but if you have no experience with SEO, this will help you out a lot. Now that most of this GoDaddy website tutorial is done, what's the price for all this, you might ask? Uh, surprisingly low, actually. Uh, don't get me wrong though, GoDaddy is still more on the premium side of things, but if you only want a business landing page, you can get it for around $7 a month currently. A thing to note here, all plans come with a free SSL certificate, free domain name for a year and unlimited storage space. So it's already a great deal for this price. My only issue with this cheapest plan is that for some reason, it doesn't include SEO tools and I really like them. Apart from that, this plan would be a perfect starting point. If you need a web store. I'll recommend going with the commerce plan that goes for around $15 a month currently. It has nearly everything your store would ever need, apart from some limitations on products or marketing. And GoDaddy makes it very simple to upgrade at any time you'll start to expand. If you got this far into the video, you're probably going to try out GoDaddy. So. Don't forget about those discounts I mentioned earlier in the description down below. Use them to get the best deal out there. To sum things up, after the GoDaddy tutorial, it's clear that this website builder isn't a very extensive design platform and some restrictions might feel a bit too tight for some. But its business tools and the ease with which anyone can use them really surprised me. If you plan to run a small project or business all on your own, I would recommend trying out GoDaddy. I hope you found this GoDaddy website builder tutorial useful. 
If so, check out our main channel for more tutorials on how to use GoDaddy or GoDaddy Guide for shared hosting. Basically, we're here to answer all your hosting questions, so leave some in the comments down below, and I'll see you all in my next video.